So I got together a few of my favorite items. Some of them are new and some of them are just things that I've just been loving over the years and I thought I would share. Also, um, my skin seems to be uh, like where you can see just like a change in like the skin underneath. Does that make sense? Like, like the color? I don't know if this is coming up on camera. Obviously in real life I can tell. That's why we're talking about it. Oh, here you can probably see a lot. You just see the light marks and then um, the darker outside. So that's happening. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe I just need to spend some more time with Korean Italy cloth or exfoliating to like help um, speed that up. It's almost like hyperpigmentation, um, hopefully not permanent, but yeah, it, it's a it's a weird thing going on. Um, I've had it happen before, I'm just surprised to see it happening again and so quickly. So I guess I'll just get right into it. Um, it's about time for me to do my nails again and I I think I told you guys like last month I finally started doing my nails on my own and I'm I'm like loving it like the full set literally looks like I could have went to the salon which is amazing um for me I suck at painting my nails so what I do is I paint the nail and then I cure it underneath the UV light before I put it on my fingernail so if you are like you know bad at like arts and crafts or like you just like even painting your nails like you suck and you get it everywhere just like paint the nail before and then put it on your fingernail but I think I showed you guys, I was doing like the coffin nails that I got off of Amazon. It's like 500 nails and yeah, I got the full nail. I know at the salon usually like they do the half nails and then like they fill in the rest. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing like the full nail. And even with doing like the full nail, like I really like it. But I had bought this, um, can you see it? This glue because it was like one of the more higher rated glues on Amazon. And as you guys can see, I'm doing, I'm redoing my nails today. Um, these have been on here for like three weeks. And um, anyways, getting back into it. When I did this, the first few times I used it, I would notice sometimes I would lose a nail um, or have an issue maybe closer to like the second week mark of having my nails on. Um, so then I like, I switched to a different glue. And so this one doesn't look as fancy. It's only like, $3.99 or it's like four dollars versus the other one is like 10 or 11 and literally it's been three weeks and i've only lost one nail and that was when i um what is that called when you like stub i guess i stubbed my finger i stubbed it on like a wall and then of course it came off but other than that these things have not budged so I'm just loving it like if i could i would just use the glue that they use at the salon but a lot some of that stuff it's like you have to have a specific license to shop and like get those things but this one like and it looks like so isn't it funny like the ones with like better packaging more expensive stuff sometimes works less than just like stuff that like this like literally just looks like super glue but it's, it's super nail glue but i just wanted to throw that out there to you that if you are doing your nails yourself and you want it to last like closer to three weeks, um, though honestly you should probably like redo your nails every two weeks because just the whole growing rate. Um, anyways, if you want them to last longer and not have any accidents, uh, get this brand. It's like Kala Super Nail Glow. And yeah, the reviews were right. That is one of the best <laughs> nail glues on there. It's just, I don't know, it just looks so like sketch. So I guess that's why I didn't buy it the first. I was like, first off, it's too cheap. And second, just like the packaging, like it doesn't look like it would work. It looks like this one would be like the more professional one, but nope, this one is. So that's that. <laughs> um, and then another, uh, for those of you who are looking like for a good lotion. Now this is not, this is the Tree Hut brand. It's at Walmart. Um, I'm putting this up so you guys can see the scent. Um, this is one of my favorite scents by Tree Hut. Tree Hut has been like around for over 20 years. like. This company is old so some of this stuff like these lotions like my mom when i was growing up she used it and so some of them they've i don't want to say half kind of discontinued like they also have like the sugar scrub which if you've ever used some of their scrubs they work really well for um taking off dead skin and getting your like skin nice and soft and smooth and smell good but this brazilian nut scent is one of the best and they no longer carry it in stores like you have to order it either um i just ordered it from amazon but yeah i'm sure there's another place that might have it where you can order it but it smells so good it's really 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 thick because it's like a it's a shea body butter 
it's really 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 thick but this one the brazilian nut smells like chocolate so if you want to smell like chocolate and get just eaten up by anyone you walk by then yeah try this um and especially if you're using topicals you definitely need like a really 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 heavy lotion to go on top of it and um one of the best i guess combinations that i've noticed is um a coconut oil like the kind that you get in like the glass jar like you could use it for cooking but anyways you want one of those in the glass jar and then obviously melt it in between your hands put that on your skin first and then go over it seal it in with this lotion and um that'll really 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 help especially if you're having issues where you find yourself like scratching at night like i know sometimes the um the lightning agents and some of these lotions like they're doing their job and they're getting your skin to shed but sometimes it can get like a little uncomfortable so if you're having any tightness especially after like putting kojic acid soap on your skin like get out seriously you probably already have some coconut oil in your house like especially if you cook with it but Get some of that put it like in a little jar and then yeah put that on your skin and then put this on top of it and literally you'll notice it'll keep in the moisture all day um well i guess i skipped a step if you're using um one of your topicals i'm doing my lactic acid i had to stop using it for a few days because like my hands were peeling really really bad <laughs> but i'm still using my lactic acid one so you want to put your topical on first and then go ahead over it with the coconut oil and then do whatever um like thick heavy lotion you want to use um if you want something that doesn't really have any scent um a friend of mine his mom orders this in like bulk and she's also like an esthetician but um it's called renew let me see if i can find it i have it in my shopping cart the only thing that's keeping me from buying is it, like it's forty dollars but it is a it's a medicated lotion but this stuff like changes people's lives and like it looks just so like it looks like nothing special but trust me his entire family has the softest smoothest skin i have ever seen but yeah it really doesn't look like anything exciting like i said it doesn't have a scent you can't get it in like a cool scent so you'd still have to like put on a perfume afterwards or maybe even follow it up with something else but like if you wanted a heavy heavy duty lotion if you're finding that nothing's like really keeping in moisture for you or you're still having like skin tightness um i would try this and they've used it for years and this one in particular is thirty dollars so that's a little better some of these are like forty dollars and this is thirty dollars for a 20 ounce but highly 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 recommend it so another thing that you wouldn't think would work as well as it does but it does uh the crest 3d whitening strips they have so many on the market now so this is the just the professional level whitening ones they have like so many other ones and it's just like okay what is the difference between all of these and like they're all crest too but this is the one that i continue buying and usually um i feel like the boxes are kind of expensive um sometimes like i've noticed in target they'll have the same one as walmart and it'll just like be jocked up like plus ten dollars or something i haven't checked the prices on amazon but i will and see what it is but literally if you get these and you go through like the entire uh, box which usually like it has like 14 or so in there maybe, maybe not um it might be closer to like 20 or something but anyways you go throughout the whole thing you'll literally only have to whiten your teeth like once or twice a year so do the entire box and like you'll get your results and then you could literally go months without having to buy another box and whiten them again um and I would just put them on. It says to leave it on for like, I think 15 to 20 minutes, I believe, or uh, I don't know. Just, uh, I, don't, I don't do what it says on the package. Um, I basically leave it on for an hour or two hours. And then I have a light, which came from another Crest uh, package, like teeth whitening package. And this light is amazing. So you could just use your own, uh, whatever it is. But yeah, it's one of those blue LED lights. So hold that on there, but if you're using a light, especially with this specific brand and this specific type, you're gonna notice you only want to have this on your teeth for maybe five to maybe 10 minutes because it definitely, I feel like it curates it faster. And so you don't wanna get any like teeth sensitivities. So yeah, 
You could definitely leave this on your teeth for like an hour, not have any issues, but if you're using this, only keep this on your teeth for like, do it a few rounds, like set a timer on your phone for like five to 10 minutes and you'll notice it'll look like you got your teeth professionally done. Cause you know, over time everyone's teeth, like, you know, they just kind of get dull and they don't look as white. Or sometimes if you're doing wine or if you're doing like lots of tomato sauces or, you know, foods stain your teeth, unless you're brushing your teeth after every meal, which I don't think a lot of us do. But yeah, just naturally they get kind of dingy. So if you wanted more of like, it looks like you went and got your teeth professionally whitened, like some zoom type whitening stuff, then yeah, this works so good. So I was watching like this mukbang and uh, it was one of the, it was like a noodle <laughs> mukbang and they are so good. I'm almost done. So this is hot chicken flavored like corn ramen the noodles are actually like high quality like it, it's definitely not like the noodles that like i don't know if you're like in college you eat like it definitely is a higher quality noodle and then like it comes with the packet of spice which i never put the whole pa spice package on there because like you pr i don't need all that sodium <laughs> but also it comes with the the red sauce that's gonna kind of make it spicy which i can't really handle spicy but i will say these are good and then to make it even more special you can add corn on top of it because it's supposed to be like mexican street corn flavor or to make it like more close to elote you could put the corn on it and then maybe some like mozzarella cheese and make sure you use your spices and then some tahini it is so good <laughs> it's just like i feel like it's one of those like guilty pleasure foods and usually i'm pretty um, full from it. So I definitely would not recommend eating this every day. Like I said, you definitely don't want to use all the spice packet. It already has like a lot of sodium, but if you're wanting something like just different and yeah, to like not do fast food, I think this is really, really, really good. So I actually just bought another type of ramen from like the same company. And so I can't wait for it to get here. It gets here tomorrow. And so there are so many videos on YouTube, like, and like basically they rate all the flavors. And so the one I got is like a carbo, it's supposed to be like a carbonara, but it's gonna be so bomb. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll show you guys, I'll let you know how it tastes, but mm, mm mm. I never would have thought I'd be like so excited for ramen noodles, but here we are.